Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, NHL, comprises a group of clinically and biologically diverse diseases, including diffuse large B-cell lymphoma and follicular lymphoma. Response rates to conventional chemotherapy for relapsed refractory NHL are generally greater than 50%. However, most patients eventually relapse. Diffuse large B-cell lymphoma is marked by rapidly growing tumors in lymph nodes and other organs. Follicular lymphoma is a more indolent and marked by slower growing tumors, with the exception of type 3B. Malignant cells develop mechanisms to evade the immune system. Immunotherapies, such as chimeric antigen receptor T cells or CAR T cells, seek to circumvent this evasion and harness the power of the immune system to target malignant cells. CAR T cells are therapeutic T cells that have undergone modifications. These modifications are designed to allow the CAR T cells to recognize targets expressed on cancer cells, such as CD19, which is expressed on B cells, including malignant B cells targeting the cells for destruction. Currently available autologous CAR-T therapies are manufactured using T-cells, harvested from individual patients by leukapheresis. Once the patient T-cells have been modified, they are infused back into the patient. In contrast, allogeneic therapies use non-HLA-matched T-cells harvested from healthy donors. Consequently, a larger portion of eligible patients, including those who are critically ill and have T-cells that are difficult to harvest or expand, can potentially receive treatment soon after diagnosis without having to undergo leukapheresis. Allo 501 and 501A are being developed as the first allogeneic, off-the-shelf CAR-T therapies for patients with histologically proven relapsed or refractory aggressive large B-cell lymphoma or follicular lymphoma who have failed at least two prior lines of therapy and who have not received pre-existing donor-specific anti-HLA antibodies. The T-cells are transduced ex vivo with a lentiviral vector encoding CARs, which recognize CD19, a cell surface protein expressed in most B-cell malignancies, but not on bone marrow stem cells or other tissues, limiting off-target effects. To circumvent a host immune response against non-HLA-matched donor cells, Selectus Talon gene editing is used Disruption of the TCR alpha gene in ALLO501 and 501A is designed to prevent the TCR-mediated recognition of a patient's HLA antigens, with the goal of reducing the risk of graft versus host disease. Selectus Talon gene editing also disrupts the CD52 gene, which allows the use of anti-CD52 antibodies to increase and extend lymphodepletion that may allow for enhanced expansion of ALLO501 and 501A cells. The use of innovative technology to modify non-matched, healthy, high-quality donor T cells has the potential to overcome limitations of current autologous approaches, which could allow use in a broader patient population. Having an off-the-shelf option could be vital in a fast-progressing disease, such as non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It may also obviate the need for bridging chemotherapy that has been used for some patients during the period of manufacture of autologous CAR-T products. ALLO501 and 501A are investigational treatments that may provide an off-the-shelf option for CAR-T immunotherapy.